Let's go over to a Spurs fan. GJ joins us on the show. How are we, GJ? Yeah, yeah, good chaps yourselves. Uh, very, very good indeed. Um, excited for tomorrow. Um, but it says you're a fellow Spurs fan like me, so oh, our life's been full of pain, isn't it, mate? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're used to the disappointment match, right? And um, <laughs> I'll be honest, um, I don't think it's going to be good tomorrow. I think um, I think we're going to lose. I think we're going to lose by at least two goals. Oh, oh God's sake. Wow. Yeah. Um, no wonder you're a Spurs fan. That's the problem. That's what Conti kept saying to you all. Cheer up. Have some positivity. <laughs> Give it to the team. And you're going to win things. <laughs> We're used to the disappointment, but I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, and I do not advocate gambling for for the listeners, but I'm going to be sticking some money on Spain. So Ooh, you got to do that, that, that match. He's got to go, mate. Can't, <laughs> is there like a cutoff switch we got on this program? <laughs> there is a dumb button, but go on, GJ. Yeah, I'm, I am going to do that. But um, now I was just going to say, um, I remember three years ago, me and um, three other lads, we went on a golfing holiday to um, we went on a golfing holiday to um, uh, St Andrews, Scotland, and we unwittingly went there on the weekend of the Euro final. Uh. So. Yeah, I know. It was a shocker because we ended up watching it in an Irish pub, Molly Malone's, and it was surrounded. Everyone else in there, all four of us, uh, were wearing England shirts, but everyone else in there were basically plastic Italians. <laughs> but Scott, apparently there's been a surge of Spain. Did he say Irish pub in Scotland? Is that yeah. what he said? I'm telling you, he's a wrong on this fella. Be <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to GJ, great stories, mate. I love that. Uh, let's switch it up and go to an Arsenal fan. Maybe he might be more positive. We've got Hamish, the Arsenal fan. How are you, mate? Yeah, you're all right. Majestic. All good. Oh, yeah. All good, bro. Where are you watching it tomorrow? I'm watching it. I booked out a pub uh, in central London. All my mates are coming down. to that like 30 of us and loads mm. of other people. It's going to be... Oh, it's gonna nice. be uh, very spicy. How, how uh, are you feeling about it? You, you, uh... you know what? This is the funny thing. I support Arsenal. I do not care if England win tomorrow. Southgate has stunk out this tournament <laughs> so unbelievably playing this Brexit ball. It's a, Brexit it's ball. Actually, <laughs> it's shocking. It's Snooze shocking, ball. yeah. No, nah, mate, literally, yeah. I would sack him tonight and get someone else in. This guy, it's it's a uh, it's a butchery of football. I support Arsenal, yeah. I would way rather Arsenal won any game. By the way, I'm a born and bred Englishman from England. Listen, like, it's ten to seven. This show is meant to be like a build up to the I excitement of tomorrow, us. and we've no, got no, Hamash on and GJ. For you don't no, know what's no, going on here. Look. Look, uh, Saka and Rice are only two good players. <laughs> like, oh, well, for really? Oh, I'll get it. Also, yeah. also yeah. the I love you. I love yes, you Sam. for winding me up. You're saying Kane <laughs> should start tomorrow. Kane, if Kane wins the golden boot of this tournament, football's finished. It's over. <laughs> I'm watching a game of football again. Listen, Hamish, the, the game is not won by the eyes. It's won by the stats and the, and, and and the goals. I'll be, okay, obviously I'll be happy. I'll be partying. Cool. But Kane, <laughs> if he wins the golden boot, that is a disgrace. He has <laughs> <laughs> if he wins the golden boot, football makes no sense. Oh, yeah, Hamish, just... Imagine this: if he wins the golden boot, right, he'll be the first ever player to win a World Cup golden boot and a European Championship golden boot. As that tournaments, he just gets tens <laughs> and scores against Panama. Listen, he's dead. He's dead, bro. Uh, Hamish, oh, Hamish, do you, do you play football the weekend or like power league or anything? No, no, I've retired. I've retired. Uh, but you, when I, you, I you did play, yeah, it. right, yeah, mate, scoring a penalty even over over a Sunday for your team is it's, it's not a given. It's just not a given. Pens are hard to Bro, score. Yeah, but he almost missed the penalty. People are forgetting that. Look, we're <laughs> going to win tomorrow because Saka's going to do what he does, which is just bail Saka, out England. Saka, Saka, Saka. And, he, you know what I mean? So, oh, Listen, I love Saka for, for England. But for anyway, Arsenal, not so much. Hamish, I've switched <laughs> off, mate. I've switched <laughs> off. Love you guys. Love, love you Hamish. guys. Go, man. Uh, big up to Hamish and his, his mates. They're going to be at the pub tomorrow watching the game. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we've got two such negative calls on. Like we've been talking the team up all night. Come on, where where is where? Are we? Come on. Now listen. When you win, sometimes in life, whether it's again, by the but way, but you know, parts, listen. One of the problems we have in England, and it is a little bit, we're kind of entitlement. We, no, we have glass half empty rather than half full. We're sarcastic about each other. 
we put each other down, Correct. don't we, as humour. That's yeah. what we do. That's like, all right, Madge, oh, you know, you, oh, what's happening? What have you done to your ear? Yeah. That is typical English kind of like putting you down. We need to build each other up tomorrow. When you see everybody at Morris say, you look terrific. I've never seen you looking better. Let's start it like that. Like an American. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, yeah, a God, little bit. That's a great new car, buddy. USA, man. Let's go, Coach Pards. Let's go, direct ball. <laughs> Paul the Addict said, Pards, an afternoon nap tomorrow. What about the Wimbledon men's final? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So that's going to be in your new plans. See, hold it. Let me rewrite that. He's right. Absolutely. What a final we got as well. Yeah. That uh, Alcaraz is... against Djokovic, the rematch, rematch of last year's final, which was brilliant. Djokovic, Alcaraz, which is going to be like the sorcerer against yeah, the no nap, again. Yeah, no nap, no nap, no. Okay, the two pints have got to go. So I've got to change this whole menu. I've got to do it all. You're going to do it all again? I'm going to have to do it all again. Right, let's go to Jack, who's a Spurs fan. Jack, are you more positive than our last callers? Yeah, I mean, for this, this this whole tournament, guys, I haven't really been positive. But no. Tomorrow, I'm actually, uh, I think we're going to win an extra five or penalties. Well, uh, it, here we nice? go, Jack. Well done. Wouldn't mate. it be nice if we did, Jack? Like I said, yeah, I think I, that word Spurs fan. How old are you, Jack? I'm, uh, I'm 22. Right. Uh, so, I, was at, I was at the last final as well with the second miss, which it, was funny. Yeah, well. That weren't funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. So this is it. At 22 years of age, you've only seen Spurs win one cup. Right. I have. I've only won one, one trophy. So, uh, so if, if England win tomorrow, what are you going to do? Because like, I don't know what to do with myself if oh, we win. Uh, straight down to uh, Trafalgar That's Square. it. That's uh, it, isn't it? That was your shout. You actually with, said that earlier. Have a couple of beers with Will, Will Marriott. Oh, uh, you uh, know, Big Will. <laughs> do, you, do you know what's on there tonight? In the Because uh, I went past it today. Trafalgar Square. That? The Royal oh. Philharmonic Orchestra are there. Will they be doing God Save the Queen? I don't know. God save the king, you mean? Oh, the, of course we changed it. Come on. Uh, keep, <laughs> keep up, up man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's where they're, they're there tonight. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine they're going to be there tomorrow. It'll be a chaos. What is this? Talk sport.